Hey guys, welcome back to Resin Bell. I just wanted to show you some of the awesome deals that I got at CultureCon um, the last day after all the classes were done and they were cleaning up all the things. They were grabbing all of the products that were partially used or open and they brought them to this table and almost everything was a dollar a piece. Um, with the exception of the Rick's Mix, the large bottles were $2 a piece, which is perfectly fine they're normally like $15 a piece and then these this set of silicone hadn't actually been opened yet and so they were selling that for $10 so I went ahead and got that but everything else everything else I paid a dollar a piece for um, so I'll just go through and show you this real quick I picked up some awesome wood pieces to do some art and stuff on I got some of the little squares and some of the larger uh, rectangles and I've actually got more in this box um, I picked those up because wood is kind of expensive these days, and I think they'll work really good in my Glowforge. I can do some engraving or, you know, any kind of stuff like that. I can do resin pours and all kinds of cool stuff on that, so that's really cool. The other thing that I'm super excited about is the culture sculpt. Um, a lot of these just have like one dip out of them, like one hand grab because we were using them in the uh, three-dimensional donut class at the very end, and... Um, and so there's not hardly any taken out of those tubs. So I'm really excited to do some three-dimensional art and doing some little sculpting and like, you know, 3D tumblers and doing some other mixed media, three-dimensional sculpture work um, over the next couple of months while those are still good and really, really excited to try those out. I got those for a dollar a bottle, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, then I picked up some UV resin. I got three bottles of clear and two bottles of white. The whites are almost full. The clears are, you know, maybe like a, a third of it's used or a quarter of it's used. Um, I got some UV resin tape. I got some packets of glitter and mica. Um, these are opened but not much is used you can see. Um, so I got a cute little variety of things here. Um, Evanescence, uh, the one that I want. I think that's a really pretty kind of antique gold look. Um, we got Silver Shimmer. We got Galaxian. We got Squad which is a really pretty kind of turquoise shimmer holographic. Really cute. Um, and then the key lime, which is a beautiful green. I got some of this sterling mica powder, which is like, you know, almost looks like, you know, shiny metal silver, which is awesome. Got a package of these cups because you can never have enough cups. You could have like 200 of these packages and you'd still never have enough. <laughs> um, so I did get the big packages of silicone so I can make some molds. I snagged up some pop of color. We've got this kind of sage green. We've got jade black, berry brown, and this was bluebird, and it was kind of an exclusive for the um, for the convention, which was awesome. Thought that was a really pretty color. I actually bought another jar of this. Uh, they were having blue light specials throughout the con, and um, one of their blue light specials was these bluebird colors for $5 a jar. But I did snag one more because I just love that color that is so pretty. Um, so, and then this uh, butterscotch dispersion color, which is pretty cool. I'm excited to try the dispersion colors. I got uh, Armor Art Epoxy Pigment, and that's white for a dollar. Got all those for a dollar. Um, I got this box of open spectrum dyes, and that's got all the different colors, which I was super excited about because I have used just about all of my um, dyes and liquid pigments, so it's going to be awesome to get in here and start making some resin again and uh, using some of these pigments. So I haven't tried their pigments, so I'm excited to try those. Those are going to be awesome. And of course, I did get the Rick's Mix. I got all the little bottles were a dollar a piece. So I've got all of those awesome colors. And then I've got the large, large jars. And they're, you know, maybe just a little bit taken out of each one. So, you know, a lot of paint in there to do some awesome stuff with. I've got all of those. And, you know, just the people at the con were just so amazing. It was such a great weekend. And it was just. It was so well run and, you know, it was their first convention ever. They've never run a convention before. So 
the whole thing was just amazing and had a great experience and very inspired to get back to resin art and you know made a lot of good friends and just just was the whole atmosphere was just amazing and that whole team for counterculture diy they they just worked their tail tail ends off and just provided a really great space for being inspired and learning and you know getting together and making connections and it's just amazing so appreciate all of them and all the people that went it was really a great experience and uh, I can't, I can't thank them all enough. And, you know, and in the end, I got all this great stuff so that I can do all kinds of great new videos and try out new products and show you guys and share them with you guys. So, you know, I'll call that a win, 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 you know. Um, thanks for so much for watching and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.